A couple of you have asked uh, how I come up with chords and chord progressions and stuff like that for all my beats. Actually, I actually already made a video about this. Uh, it's part of a class on Patreon, but I wanted to release that one part on YouTube so you guys could watch it. Uh, I think it's pretty beneficial. It's kind of like the theory I've used for as long as I've been playing guitar to create uh, songs and chord progressions and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, if you want to check out the full course it's on Patreon, I do plan on releasing it as like a, a one-time paid thing eventually, but for now it's just on Patreon. Uh, but if not, here's that one chord progression theory video. Welcome to the core progression mindset. Listen, I'm not saying this is gospel. I'm just saying this is probably the main idea that has helped me a shit ton in my improv and my coming up with core progressions and all that stuff. Personally, I think, and this is the whole idea of this mindset, I think in terms of storytelling, and I'm not saying like this like as a vague kind of idea. I'm literally like this literally telling a story with the chords. So for this, as a prerequisite, you do need to know the chords of the key you're playing in. And they're simple to learn. You know, spend time learning all the major keys. I'm gonna play in the key of C just because it's easy. These are all the chords you can use in the key of C. C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, and then a stupid chord, B diminished. Back to C. So we're going to think of this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven, and then one. Okay, so let's start with one. C, the root note. One is always the home. You're going to start the story here. Odds are you're going to end the story here. Let's go to something like six. Six, which would be your A minor, is your, oh shit, something bad happened. Or if you know how a story goes, it'll be the home, the uprising, whatever that part's called. Something happens, the relief, right? So the uprising, the going up, the something's happening shit is the A minor. Something like the F, which would be uh, the four. That would be, in the way I think about it, something exciting and good is happening you know it's like you're safe it's, it's, it, it, this adventure is exciting i'm safe something new is happening you know the five would be like returning home or or getting ready to come back all right so if i was to explain this as a story while playing it it'd be something like this i'm at home right you know i kind of want to go do something let me go do something Oh shit, something bad happened. But it's okay, we figured it out. And now, I'm going back home. Right? Cool, so that's the idea of it. Let's do it in some different ways. Again, we're starting at home. Something awesome is happening, right? This is like a, a good change, an exciting change. Oh, but now because of that change, something bad is happening. And now I'm going back home, <laughs> right? It's that fundamental idea that helps the improvisation stage, the, the coming up with chord progressions, the, the coming up with songs, really, because, I mean, your song is going to tell a story and you have to use a chord progression, a, a story you create with the chord progression to tell the story of the song. It's all intertwined, um, and this it it's goes on a a section to section basis. It's not essential. It's not a a song to song basis. You're not gonna. This is not the verse. This is not the pre-chorus. This is not the chorus. You're going section to section basis. So the verse can be a story of starting at home. Something's exciting. Something bad happened. Now I'm back at home, which would be. The chorus could be exciting thing happening, bad thing happening, exciting thing happening, bad thing happening. You can go even more in depth. It could be something exciting happening, something bad happening, something exciting happening, something bad happening. Now I'm going to go home. Now something bad's happening. Now something exciting happening. And now I'm going back home. That would sound like this.
So it's that mindset that has helped me, I mean, I think the most out of any other kind of way of thinking about music. So what I want you to do, and this will take time, you have to get used to the chords in a key actually being a part of an idea, which sounds like something a guitar monk would say, but I mean, honestly, it's, it's true. F to me is always exciting and different. A minor to me is always, um, you know, like the the prerequisite to a climax sort of thing. The something bad's happening, something kind of different is happening, something like that. And so for a chord I don't normally use, or I don't use as much as any other chord, like, like in, in the key of C, like D, D minor. I don't use D minor that much. Let's give, let's assign a feeling to D minor. So I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna see what D minor tells me. Boom. So playing that, I feel like it's telling me something unexpected is happening. You're at home. Something bad happens. Something unexpectedly bad happens. Or something that changes the story happens. Now, I'm going to go back home. So it's that sequence of thoughts that's going to assign a feeling to your chords, therefore help you create a story with your chords, stories with chords, also known as a chord progression. That is the chord progression mindset.